Want to skyrocket your blog's visibility and leave your competitors in the digital dust? Say hello to effortless SEO optimization with Brainworks Blog Booster. For our tutorial today, we will boost this blog post, How to Write a Case Study That Everyone Will Want to Read, which is located on the Brainwork blog. To get started, we will log into Brainwork. And once we're logged in, we will go over to the left side panel and click on Writing Assistant, where we will see the Blog Booster button. We will simply enter in our primary topic, which is also our keyword for this particular blog post. And then we will enter in the blog post URL. You'll notice after entering both fields, the Improve My Post button is highlighted for you to continue. Click here, then wait about three to four minutes to see the recommendations from the blog booster. So here are the recommendations for how we can better optimize this particular blog post. This first part gives us a section heading that we should consider adding to our blog post as well as the content for that heading. I really like how the AI assistant broke up the text and put it in a numbered list for us. And as I scroll down, I see that it even tells me where this section should be located. So what we need to do is copy and paste the content section and place it after the what is a case study section, because this will provide readers with a deeper understanding of the types of case studies before diving into one. We also see that there is no recommendation for removing sections, but there are recommended keywords and usage examples to ensure that our blog post has all of the content that would be relevant and valuable to the reader. These recommended keywords I'm noticing are being used in the content that we were given, descriptive case studies, exploratory case studies, and so on. That's what our numbered list was here. So we don't have to worry about adding these in anywhere else unless it is relevant for our blog posts. And as we keep scrolling down, the Block Booster also lets us know why using these particular keywords are important. In fact, it says your blog post will not only rank higher in search engine results, but provide a comprehensive guide to readers. And that's exactly what we want. And finally, at the very bottom are sources that were used to give us the information that we just looked at above. And these external links are worth noting as they can be inserted in our blog posts as well. So first things first, let's add the section heading after the what is a case study section. So I'm on the back end of WordPress and we're gonna find what is a case study and we will add that H2 section immediately after this section. And we'll go back over to Blog Booster and copy this content section that we've been given and we'll take it over to the blog post and insert it there. Next, we just need to look back at our recommendations and see if there is anything else that we need to add or take away. And according to our recommendations, there are no sections to be removed. And we've already ensured that our keywords and usage examples are in the content. And so as we scroll down, we need to just make sure that we have some external links inserted into our blog posts. I think this will be a great point to go through our clear framework to ensure the best possible edits. So starting with cut the fluff, I'll just look through this section to see if there are any places that I can be more concise, remove irrelevant sentences or anything of the sort. So I'll do that now. I see when embarking on writing a case study, I can just say when writing a case study. So I'll delete that. Also here, 
instead of saying your case study is aligned with its intended goal, I'll just say your case study is aligned with its goal. Also notice that for each one of the bulleted types of case studies, there are instances where it says these are this. And instead of saying that, I would prefer to make the type of case study leading into this first sentence one complete sentence. So for example, I would just say descriptive case studies provide. Exploratory case studies are conducted and explanatory case studies and so on. Okay, then we can move on to L, which is link authoritatively, which means that we can go back over to Brainwork and take a look at the external links that are listed here. I have chosen a few that we can insert into our content, such as the HubSpot post, the educational institution post, as well as this SA Pro case study page. So I'm going to take some time to insert each of these links into the blog post. And then let's do the second link. And here is a third place that we could place a link further up in the blog post. The next step in the clear framework is E, enhance with visuals. So um, this is something that I can do to ensure that I have an image under every H2 heading in our blog post. And as I scroll, I notice that the section that we added, we do not have an image. So I'm going to go ahead and add that now. And so I've added an image here and I need to make sure that I have alt text. The next step in the clear framework is a assure accuracy. One of the most amazing things about the block booster is that it already fact checks will give you any recommendations for making your content more accurate, removing any Thing that's no longer relevant. And because it's in brain work, you can go to writing assistant, find your blog booster content by clicking on the latest post, and you'll see all of the recommendations that were made by the AI assistant. You can simply highlight whichever part you want to fact check. Go to the last option, more, Click and select the fact check button. And it's here that you'll see whether or not the fact checker says that the claim needs any corrections and the reasoning behind it. And you can continue to do that for any part of your blog post or the recommendations in the blog booster. So after assuring accuracy and making those changes in your blog post, you can move on to the last step of the clear framework, which is refining the tone. Depending on how you want your voice to come across for your blog and business, you can make changes for your content to come across more readable, more professional, or whatever tone you prefer. So I will do that now in the section where we added the different types of case studies. For example, I don't use the word crucial in my everyday language, so I will change that. And to make this a little bit more conversational, I'll add a question at the beginning. And I can just read through my blog post and make sure that my tone is consistent throughout. And after you've done that, you can publish your blog post. So after all of that, I know you're ready to dominate the search engine rankings. With BrainWorks Blog Booster, you can easily optimize your content and watch your blog soar to the top. Don't let your competitors steal the spotlight. Take charge of your SEO strategy today. Visit BrainWork now to get started.